They said I need more subs, but That's I've been right. working, man, I need more love Too yep. many L's, fam, I need more doves, but you can call me the plug Get on tech with a view from the soul, they you can't stop us, fam, we out of control And I ain't slanging no shots, no subliminals, just dropping these videos non-stop Residuals, call me the GOAT minimal, respect the visuals, human wit and all that If you ain't down with the fusion, then you can fall back All right, let's get into the unboxing of these Fusion A7 headphones from One Audio. Now you may wonder why I got this here on the desk. These are the previous One Audio headphones that I reviewed. Got a lot of love for them, love these headphones. Supposedly these are essentially the wireless version of these headphones. All right, they have changed it to One Audio. But even here you can see that, uh, let's see if I can get this for you. It still says One Audio on the sticker, like oneaudio.com. Right here it says wired and wireless, portable and adjustable, jack lock system, dual duty cable, Bluetooth music sharing. Let's see on the back, any specifications, 40 millimeter drivers, up to about 20 hours of talk time, charge time about 2.5 hours. It says Bluetooth music playtime up to 25 hours with a 430 milliamp hour battery. So we're gonna test all of that out and see what's good. Here are the specs. If y'all wanna see those, go ahead, pause that, and get that in your life. All right, let's see, let's slide that off. There we go. Put that over here, one audio. See what you got right here. So, let's see. You got two cables that come in here. It's Bluetooth, so you do get your micro USB. Will be dope if it was USB-C but it's still micro USB. You get your standard 3.5 millimeter aux cable. Then you get this other cable, which if you guys saw my previous one audio video, I am in love with this cable. Basically it's a dual duty cable where depending on what source you're using your headphones with, you can either plug it into a phone or plug it into like an audio interface. I love this cable. In this one, it's red, but I'll take it in black, it's cool. And you got your bag, and you can see it's pretty much the same bag. This one says one audio instead of one audio. <laughs> I wonder why they did that. I wonder why it was one audio first. I'm guessing since it's not I mean, I will guess that it's not an American company or maybe audio means something, I don't know. But let's go ahead and pull these out. Let's see what's good. Ah. <laughs> the Bluetooth One Audios. Now, I'll pull these out here in a second, but you do have this similar red uh, trim right here on the top. These fold. You know, they fold like that and swivel. You have your logo here on the side. Then you have your jacks for your cable. So you can either plug the large end in over here and then vice versa. You take this, plug it in over here. It has the locking mechanism now, but this is wireless. So now what I wanna do is kind of compare the quality on the first One Audios I have versus the new Fusion A7s. Now, if you do know, I took the original ear pads off of these and replaced them with some Brainwaves ear pads. I know this was a complaint on these and from different reviewers, even people that bought them, that these felt a little flimsy. These were intended to be DJ headphones. It's not the best thing for just a normal person who's just gonna be putting headphones on, but it did have its purpose. These don't have that same feel. They're not flimsy, don't click at all. It seems more substantial. They just kind of kicked it up a little bit 
on the actual quality. I mean, it still seems the same. Like, I mean, it's all pretty much the same design. Just, I don't know if it's just a little bit tighter here on the quality. Why don't we just go ahead, turn the camera around. I'm gonna play some music and we're gonna see what's really good. I don't think I explained the IO or the buttons properly. It's pretty much simply a power and a plus and minus that should get you connected. So let's put them on my head. I got a big dome, so you need to have, I need to have it all the way extended. Let's make sure. Not the best clamping force. I feel like if I really get in the headbang mode, Yeah, those are definitely coming off if you do too much craziness. But, you know, simple head nod, you should be good. We're not gonna waste too much time. We'll just get these connected and play some music. I'm not the biggest designer fan, but they was talking about Panda on the podcast I listened to. So let's just listen to that. I had it pulled up because I was about to check it out. Let's just listen to it and see what's good. Panda. Panda. Wow, okay, that was actually pretty fun. Like, you know, that song has a super long intro. So when it first started, I was like, mm, I don't know. But right when that beat dropped in and that bass kicked, it, it feels similar to these, where it's not an overt, like, bass head, super bassy to where, you know, it's just blowing everything out, but it has that nice, sub rumble real nice just strong bass hit i'm feeling that let me try something else <laughs> curiosity by nail let me try that see what's good i gotta hear that beat drop let me hear this beat drop Woo! wow okay yeah it sounds really good it sounds similar to what my idea of these were pretty clean a nice probably boosted bass not audiophile like i don't want to claim that this is you know rivaling 400 500 dollar audiophile headphones but for the price i definitely think this is a very clean sound you get a nice representation yeah the sound stage could be wider the highs are nice and crisp the vocals are really good they come through very pronounced and clean these sound pretty damn good wow so you currently get these for about 50 bucks i honestly gotta say i don't know what kind of magic one audio one audio whoever they are are putting into these headphones i thought these for about 30 to 40 bucks was a massive steal. Like you just gotta add one to your collection. Even if you have much more expensive headphones, you keep these in your collection, something that you're not worried about. Like if you that kind of guy and you just like, yo, I spend 780, you know, so much money on headphones, put in a pair of these in your collection to have 30, 40 bucks that sound really good. You can't go wrong. Same thing with Bluetooth headphones. Sure, you may have Bose and Sony and all of that, but for $50 to get the kind of sound quality that you get from these, I don't know what to tell you. These are another banger in my book. You might want to go ahead and check it out. I'm going to get up out of here. It's your Ken for Dookie. Let me know what you think down below and never forget to holler at your boy.